Good morning. I'm very excited about this video. And the reason is, I've been in my van almost three years. And I have been thinking about something and thinking about it because I am kind of a prepper. I want to grow my own food. Well, you can't do it inside the van. But once I got this rack outside, I thought, wow, could I plant in totes out there? So I started with one small tote. And the next week, I'm going to be separating the plants out. I got peppers and tomatoes. I'm going to be separating them out into individual containers. But I would like your help and suggestions on how you think this should be set up. So let me show you what I've done. So let's walk around the van. I want to show you what I've done for my garden. Surprise! I started planting this stuff about two weeks ago. Now, they've doubled in size. I'm sure this container is too small. I only need one or two plants in here, maybe two at the most. This is my air conditioner. I'm getting ready to take that out this week and put it in the van. And I have two of these totes, one in sitting inside the other. That's just storage. However, I was thinking of taking the second tote, putting it here, and um, putting onions in it, and moving some of these plants into it. However, I'm thinking, and I would like your suggestions on, should I get five gallon buckets and maybe put, I think I can get fit two or three in here, and put the plants separately into five gallon buckets. They might have a better chance then somehow getting rid of, these are um, extra bags, extra things I use in the van. I Maybe I, I need to somehow find the room in the van and then have two totes, and one for, um, I have beans and I have onion seeds. So this is my project. I've been working on it and thinking about it for quite a while. This is 348. For this huge bag and um, pretty heavy. I don't know how big it is. That was Walmart. Feeds up to six months. Well, let's hope so. And um, but I don't know. Maybe I can leave just the tomato plants in here. They're all the same. 249 a plant. I have three of those and three pepper. One is red, two is green. And I'm all excited. It was 249 a plant, so Six plants times two, two fifty is three six nine dollars, and three forty eight. I already had the tote. Um, should I invest in three five gallon buckets? My math is wrong here. It's fifteen dollars. So two fifty and two fifty is five times three is fifteen dollars plus three forty eight was under twenty dollars to do this. I already had totes, so I didn't have to buy them. I will have to add in five gallon buckets because I don't have any of those and find the right size of those uh, and I'll add those in. Those are around five or six dollars a piece. So I'm hoping to keep this under thirty dollars and then I want to see how the pricing goes and figure out if it was worth planting. So I wanted to do a correction and separate these things out or see the size of the tote what do you think I don't know or maybe I should put some more dirt in this one anyway I'm working on a garden I want this whole back to be a garden I wanted a blackberry plant but I don't know I don't know if I can do it or not so any suggestions for me would be very very helpful I want to grow stuff the wind doesn't affect any of this because it's right behind, so the wind isn't hitting the plants. And I, I think I have enough room to have some. I don't know if the value of the plant will give me tomatoes, but I would think so. If it's $2.49 for the plant and I get 10 or 20 tomatoes, that ought to be paying for itself. What do you guys think, huh? What do you think about this? Thank you so much for subscribing and watching, and please share. And I'll see you next time. Camo for everybody who, who misses it.